Hey guys, it's me again with my Origin 3D printer from Zenny Kinetic. And I just logged 120 hours of print time with this machine. So I figured now's a good time to do a review and talk about my experience with it so far and how it's doing after 120 hours and uh, how much I like it. The short answer, I am very happy with the printer. It met all of my expectations. I got this printer specifically so that I could print large props and uh, print large props without sacrificing or compromising on print quality or detail and it has done that. I've printed some very large props and they've come out very clean, very smooth and it's captured all the detail. Um, when you're printing big props, obviously they take a very long time and the longer something is printing for, the greater the chances of the print failing, something can go wrong and uh, you have to start all over. And this machine has proven to be very reliable. It's uh, This here was like a 40 hour print and it got through it without any problem. 40 hours is the longest I've done. Um, I've got some 50, 60 hour prints coming up. This one is another like 40 hour print. So, uh, yeah, let me show you a little more about these. Um, these are parts for the Soros regime from the game Destiny. I'm printing them and I'll be selling them. If anyone's interested, let me know. Um, yeah, I had to. Uh, I made the model myself, and I chopped it up into nine parts to fit in the printer. It's a huge print area. It's like 12 inches by 18 inches by 12 inches, but still the gun is really big, so I had to chop it up. It's like I don't know, two feet long, 28 inches long in total when it's put together. So anyway, this this part here. It's, I printed it in clear plastic, not the best idea, because you can hardly see the details. When it's painted, you'll be able to see it, but if I can get my camera to focus... Yeah, there we go, we can see some of the details. came out really smooth, really happy with it. Um, really clean edges. I still gotta sand off the support structure. So that's why it still looks a little rough. I love how that part turned out. Really captured the details. It's smooth as glass. Um, the resolution on this print is like uh, 150 microns layer thickness. Um, these runs probably like 200 microns, so it doesn't look as smooth. I might reprint these parts. Still looks great though, everything's in alignment and all that. Um, something I discovered is that if you have a fan aimed at your extruder head, uh, your prints will come out a lot cleaner, especially on the sides that are facing downwards. Um, <clears throat> if, you, uh, if, if you print, if you're a printer guy, um, you probably know that any sides that are facing downwards turn out to be a little bit rough because uh, gravity is kind of making the plastic sag. So if you have a fan, it cools off the plastic right when it comes out of the extruder so it doesn't sag, or at least not as much. And so, uh, yeah, this, this printed like this, upside down. So. On this side, which was facing down with the fan, again, hard to see it, but this came out pretty smooth, really smooth, thanks to the fan. Um, this one I printed without the fan, so you can see on this side facing down, it definitely sagged coming out of the extruder. So I might reprint this. If you look at this part here, this shows how well this printer handles fine detail and narrow parts. This part, I, th I honestly thought while it was printing, I thought it would just 
fall off, but it didn't. So this printer prints bigs and it doesn't sacrifice detail. It handles them really well. So what else? Oh yeah, I think um, yeah, this machine, this is like the fourth one that they sold. I was in the really early group. I think some of the printers, the printers they're selling now, if you order one now, it might come with a few upgraded parts. For uh, for those of us in the early order group, um, they'll be sending us those upgraded parts, I think. I'm not sure, but I think the... Uh, extruder head might come with a fan uh, aimed at the extruder. If it does, that's great. If not, I've still got my fan set up. So, one or two small complaints about this machine. Um, one problem I had was that extruder number one here um, died on me a little while ago. And they're going to send me a replacement one. I told them they could uh, wait until I, they had the upgraded part to send me. Since I still have the one extruder and I can still print with that, so I don't mind waiting a little. Um, they have great customer support and a great warranty. The owner of the company says that you could throw this printer off a building and they would replace the whole thing for free. <laughs> And uh, they're probably betting on the fact that no one's going to want to throw a, what, $1,600 printer off their roof. I wouldn't. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, the only minor complaint I have. Um, if you order a machine now, oh, one, one small complaint about the uh, company itself. They're really great people, just they <laughs> they kind of suck at estimating how long something is gonna take. You know, if you order a printer now, they'll probably tell you, yeah, you'll have your printer in like two weeks. It'll probably be more like six to eight weeks. So, it's it's totally worth the wait. This is a great machine, but just, you will be waiting. No matter no matter what they tell you, you'll probably be waiting. Now, they are um, opening up like a whole other facility to build these printers, so uh, production should pick up speed soon. Just for now, if you order now, it's, what, April 24th? Yeah, if you, if you order in the near future, you might be waiting a little while. Just be a little patient. It's totally worth the wait. So, uh, oh yeah, um, I started a Facebook group called, uh, Origin 3D Printer Users. It's a group specifically for people who, uh, own and use this printer or just people who are thinking about it. Drop in. We, uh, we give each other pointers or show off what we're working on. If you need help, need advice on your printer, if you're totally new at uh, printing or whatever, that's the place to go. By the way, this is the first printer I've ever owned and operated, and uh, I handled it pretty well. So, you know, if you're, if you're a total beginner, don't be too intimidated by it. It takes a, it takes a bit of practice, but uh, that's what the Facebook group is there for. So that's all I have to talk about right now. Um, keep following, keep following my channel for more updates, more stuff about my printer, and uh, more about the props I'm working on. So that's all for now. Signing off.